Brothers and sisters, you've missed the whole meaning of the scriptures. Preachers, teachers, pastors, rabbis, learned intellectuals are frothing at the mouth and exuding and saying and teaching and just pumping out all this information that is wrong. They have missed the door. The greatest intellectuals in the world charging people thousands and thousands of dollars to hear and sit under their knowledge. They've missed the door. They have no deliverer. And their knowledge is basically regurgitating and trying to intellectualize this book. But they don't have Yahusha Elohim. They don't know Yahusha Elohim. So how can they explain this book? They can't explain this book. It's merely ink on the page to them. And so I want to talk about scripture translations because I've come to understand and I got caught up in the wind of it as well. When I left the Torah Institute and Lou didn't want to see where the behavior revolution and where we were going and what Yahushua was showing us and the realities that he was is now telling us on a daily basis, I was very hurt, very upset. And I thought, well, he's put out a version of scripture, the BYNV. I can, I'll, I'll show him, I'll show everybody. A monkey can do this, I'll do my own. And uh, I started a, t a task, a project. And I've only just recently given it up because I realize the motivation behind it. But I also look at how sneaky and gentle and cunning Yahushua was, getting me addicted to the word. Because prior to that, I was not addicted to the word. I was just uh, doing as religious people do, sitting under the, the words of men, listening to what they had to say about it. I didn't want to read it for myself. But, but through that anger and through that frustration and through that being balked all the time, every time I came across a Hebrew word when I'm trying to concentrate, it frustrated me. I'm going to do my own here. I want it to be simple English so people can understand that they're not, you make the door to deliverance easy. Yahushua hooked me through that. And now I realize that it doesn't matter what translation you have. In fact, this is the best translation here. See it? Take a good look. Any scripture version will do any they're all the same they are all whatever language whatever country you're in they're all ink on a page none of these translations even ones that have yahuwah and yahusha in them none of them will what's the word none of them will have what you are having the experience you are having inside yourself with your creator i mean what did um adam eve Abraham, where, where's their translation that they had to refer to? They heard a voice. They had an encounter with a person. Did they have to run off and check their rocks and their... Where did they have any written word? They didn't. Nobody in the older times, ancient times, had anything. Moses was one of the... I mean, of course they would have scratched things on rocks and monuments and naming altars and places and things like that. But formal, official text, writing it down, coronal... Chronolo chron chron what's the word? Chronicles. Chronicle yeah, that word. It was Moses. You know, so Moses started putting it down, you know. But the translation, if you don't have the spirit that wrote the translation, it's useless to you. So I mean, if you why spend lots of money on all these scripture versions? They're not there. I mean, everybody knows English is the, you know, the petri dish of the languages. All the languages that have come before it, English it takes it all in. Yeah, we'll take that word, we'll take that sound, we'll take all of it. English is just the bastard son of every language that's been on the earth. But he said, I will talk to them in babbling lips and a foreign tongue. And he's speaking to the generations, the last generations of the world, because it is, the generation now is the last one. He's about to come back. We've only got a few years left. So this is the last generation and he's speaking to them in these foreign, weird, strange languages, English. So the English language, nothing you read in this book is going to be 100% accurate. 
none of the thesauruses, none of the concordances, none of the scriptures. And like I said, even if they've got Yahuwah or Yahusha in them, they're not going to be 100% accurate. So why are we so addicted to quoting it? Where's the chapter and verse for that? Tell me where you found that. Tell me where you read that. No. No. Go and find it yourself. I'm speaking from what Yahushua's told me. It's not false. It's not erroneous. Yahushua said it. I believe it. I've gotten to know his voice. Would you like to know his voice? You can know his voice. But you've got to know who he is, where he started. Yahuwah became Yahusha. He is now Alahim. And he tasks us. He charges us. Commands us to follow him. Pick up your torture stake and follow me. And that's what we have to do. So it doesn't matter what translation of scripture you have. You can just find the easiest one on Google. Don't waste all your money on these scripture translations. There's a big movement in the world right now, even in the body, especially among people who call on the name of Yahushua. What translation do you have? Oh, I come under, it's like in the book of Acts. Uh, who's your, uh, Paul's my lead. No, Yahushua's mine. No, Barnabas is mine. No, no, Peter's mine. No, everybody's clinging to these versions of scriptures and it means nothing because you can hear the one who wrote it in your head. This book is to point you to a person, but people are missing the person in favor of the book. They're addicted to the book. They think this is a, a, a solemn, holy, set apart, magic book. Oh, don't, don't put it in the wrong place. Don't ever let it get damaged. Or it's just ink on a page. Throw it on the shelf with all your other books. Read it when you need to read it. But know what it's saying. And you can only know what it's saying by having the spirit of the one inside you that wrote it. That was what the people, the patriarchs, the the men and women of scripture were more interested in. They weren't running to find some translation. They weren't running to write it down. They were more interested in the encounter they were having with the creator or with when Yahushua came along. They were more interested with him. So what does it say now that we are a people who are just quoting and cherry picking and going on about these scriptures. It doesn't matter what version of scripture I have. Let me say it again. If you've got an old King James on the shelf, use it. You know when it says Jesus, change it in your head to Yahushua. You know when it says God, it, it should be Allahim. You know when it says, you know, Lord, it should be Yahuwah. Yeah, you can do that in your head. There's only they're the only three words you need to change. It doesn't matter about any of the other words, really. It doesn't matter. Yes, I know a lot of the old Prophets and other people have the name Yah in their name. whoop de doo they wouldn't care. They would much rather you focus on the Deliverer. So that's why there's only three Hebrew words you need to use. Alahim, Yahuwah, and Yahusha. The rest is whatever language, whatever country you're in. The point is the change. The point is the person that these scriptures point you to every verse that's why the chapters that were included in this canon were included in this canon because they all speak of deliverer a deliverer yahusha you need to be focused on him you need to know who he was as i said where he went who he is now alahim yahusha is our alahim and you need to follow him how do you follow him you need to have a divine heart operation you need to die to yourself you need to come to him in repentance he said repent and be baptized you need to repent and be baptized in spirit and fire and he will take out your heart of stone he will replace it with a heart of flesh the old nature the old sinful self he will take it out. That spirit that controls us. There is a spirit in your flesh. It's all through the scriptures. The flesh against the spirit. The spirit against the flesh. It's all there. This has made me so angry to face. There is a spirit controlling my flesh. I've believed in the name of Yahushua for 
15 years or more now. There's still a spirit controlling my flesh. How do I get it out? How do I overcome it? Only those, for those of you who are addicted to this book, only those who overcome will receive the tree of life. Only those who overcome will receive this, the crown, become a pillar, the white stone. All the, only those who overcome. You can only overcome the flesh, the evil that's in your flesh from birth. You can only overcome it through the power of the Spirit. You need to be baptized in the Spirit. The water is of no consequence. Every religion uses water, some kind of ceremonial mikvah or washing or ritual cleansing, sprinkling, sacred waters, the mayim kaim, living waters, running streams, brooks, rivers. It's not anything to do with what we're talking about here. Yahusha is the word. He is the water of the word. Why do you think when they pierced his side, water ran out and blood? Of course we need his blood. But he is the blood and the water. Yahushua said to Nicodemus, unless you're born of water and the spirit, he is the water, he is the spirit. There's only one being. It's Yahushua, Elohim. Yahushua is not the Ruach HaKadosh and just Yahuwah in, in flesh. No, he's not that. Teachers out there <coughs> uh, are saying this rubbish to people. It's Yahushua. It's all Yahushua. You need Yahushua Elohim. You need to know that the fullness of the book, everything you read in here is about him. And it's about following him and about a real behavior. Real behavior. That's what he's telling his bride in these last days. The book of Acts was a transitional period. They were transitioning from all the old schoolmaster into transitioning into Yahushua, realizing that the reign is spiritual. Everything that they were taught of old was pointing to him and his spiritual reign. Of course, they didn't fully grasp it. They were still caught up in a lot of the older stuff. But then it all went cold. Then it all got wiped out. Then it went underground and just fizzled out. And then we came into the dark ages and religion and Christianity, Constantine, all those things that happened. So do you think in these last days when he's revitalizing and restoring his word and his spirit and his bride again, once more in the last day remnant, very small few, just as the days of Noah, only a very small few will find this narrow path or want it. Because you've got to die. You've got to empty yourself. You've got to stop. You've got to let go of all of it. Let it, everything you've built up, all your little empires, all your little reigns and legacies and businesses and organizations and, you know, everything you've done for the last 10, 20, 30, 40, everything you've done, you've got to kill it and let him start fresh. Because he starts from nothing. And like I said, this narrow path, this narrow gate, very few will find it, as we've been saying. So, you know, as the days of Noah, he saved one small family. I mean, he created the human race. He loves them dearly. And yet he only saved, delivered, one family, eight people. Does he love the human race any more or any less today? So why are we assuming there's going to be 144,000 people? Literally. Mate, I'm barely able to get my own family to be interested. And I know most people find it the same because of the strong pull of the world and the spirit in the world. The deception, the strong delusion in these last days. So I don't believe there will be many. And that's why I, like I said in my last video, I felt quite hopeless and I've been wrestling with Yahushua. I didn't want to make videos anymore. I thought, why bother? Why throw my pearls? These pearls mean something to me. 
these pearls are precious to me. I've searched my whole life to find you who shall like this. And people just want to rip you to shreds and trample on you. I'm sick of throwing my pearls to swine. And I pray with all my heart you're not one of them, but I guess that's up to you, isn't it? And your heart condition and how you feel about the things that behavior revolution declare. Are you swine? That's up to you. Not for me to judge. And that's why Yahushua said it's time to talk to people who are interested. It's time to talk to the people who are struggling and want the, the lifeboat, the, you know, the, throw them out the lifeboat, send them out, rescue. So I'm talking to you if you're interested, if you're wanting something, if you know it's not real where you're looking and who you're listening to, it's not real, then this is where you've got to go, to Yahushua, Elohim. And you can read this book. Read whatever translation you want. If, 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 if you want to get a translation with Yahuwah and Yahushua in it, fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if it doesn't phase you and you can do the switch over in your mind, don't waste your money. Get on with it. Because it's about the behavior of loving kindness. It's about the royal laws. We're going to go into that more. They've missed the door. They've missed their deliverer. They've got the wrong baptism. We'll talk about that in our next video. They've got the wrong door. They've missed it. They don't know who Yahushua is. It's his name, but they don't know who he is. Isn't that what he says when in the last days, many will cry out, Master, Master. People just think he's talking about Christians. No. Put the name, put, change that word Master to Yahushua and you'll understand the scripture text. People will cry out, Yahushua, Yahushua. Oh, oh, it's me, Yahushua, it's me. I taught, I preached, I teached, I cast out demons, I did miracles and wonders in your name. Yahushua, it's me. And he said, I don't even know who you are. You can know his name and have no idea who he is because you're just addicted to this. This ain't going to get you there. This points you to him. This points you to him, the spirit and the fire, the blood and the water. It all points you to Yahushua. He's got to become real and in every single thought. That's enough for this one, brothers and sisters. Use whatever version you like. Doesn't matter. People are addicted to the ink on the page. They don't have Yahushua Elohim. They don't have his spirit. They are peddling his name and it's useless. I'm not interested in our version anymore. There is a behavior revolution, a Yahushua Elohim version online. I'm not interested in, uh, it's not finished, and I'm not interested in pursuing it um, because it's not important. It was part of a little competition I was having inside myself to wipe the floor with Lou, and I'm no longer interested in that. Um, I love him. I love all the brothers and sisters, um, but I'm going on. Kicking the dust off my sandals and moving on to those who actually want a deliverer. Yahushua Elohim is your deliverer and there is no other name in heaven or earth. So I hope you haven't missed the door. I hope you haven't missed the true deliverer and I have, hope you haven't missed the real meaning of these scriptures. Everything in these scriptures points to a person. If you're reading it for some scholastic knowledge, you've missed the point of these scriptures. They are only to lead you to the feet of your Elohim, Yahushua.